All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the time and I'm going to show you guys how to do an offset, how to measure for it, and how to get over an obstruction. Now, there are many ways to do this by eyesight, but we're going to learn right now how to do it by just using a tape measure and measuring, and we're going to see how we can get over this obstruction. So. All right, so first of all, as a disclaimer, this table right here that I'm using for demonstration purposes, it is not square. So if you look, you can see it right here, the middle of the table is higher, so I can actually stick, you know, almost this whole Sharpie underneath of it. I'm going to show you guys how to come over this obstruction right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our tape measure and we're going to measure this. Now, I don't recommend this tape measure, but all right, so we have uh, right at about four inches right there, as you can see. Now what we'll need to do, and if you guys, like I said, I've done a video before uh, asking about a cosine chart, how to figure out what degrees equal how many of the multiplier. So we are going to bend this. Most everybody bends on 30 degrees to get over this. Now, there are certain situations why you would use a, oh, I don't know, a 45 or even a 60, so on and so forth, or even a 15 degree. But for the most part, the go-to is always 30 degrees because you do not want to have 360 degrees, more than 360 degrees in your pipe on your bins. Now, I personally, this is just my personal recommendation, never go over 270 without putting a pull point in. That's just me because, you know, to me it kind of sucks. The more bins you have, the more, the more degrees you have, the worse it is to pull wire through this. All right, having said all that, we know we have a four inch obstruction. So what we have to do is we have to get this over top. From this point to the top of this, it's four inches. The cosine chart says on a 30 degree bend, we have to times it by two. So, th uh, so four times two is eight. So what that means is, if you remember from my, if you remember from my offset video, I always like to come back to like three inches. And that's just, that's just my rule. It's not any given rule, but that's what I like to do. So we'll come back first three inches and we're going to put a mark. All right, we'll put a mark at three inches. Now, so all this mark right here is representing is where I'm going to be putting the arrow first and foremost. What I'm going to do is I know that it's four inches obstruction and I told you we're going to bend on 30 degrees cosine chart reads times two. So four times two is eight. So we're going to come back here and we're going to go to the eight mark. Now I recommend using a pencil, but it's really up to you. All my life I've only used Sharpies and I've really never had an issue with it. All right, so having said that, we're gonna put this back in the bender. We're gonna put this mark right here at the arrow and we're gonna bend to 30 degrees. All right, so as you can see, I have my arrow pretty much right there at my mark. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull down to this 30 degrees. So I want this pipe to be if this line just kept going to infinity, I want this to be right there with that. So having said that, we're going to pull down to right at 30. So now, as you can see, if this line was to keep going, it would just keep going. All right, there. Now to me, that is right on the money. All right, what we have to do now is take the pipe out and flip it around. So what I do, I just slide it down, slide it down to my mark and then you just turn it around. All right, and we're gonna sight down this, make sure that there's no dog leg in it, so we wanna make sure that when we look down this pipe, that this part right here is not cocked one way or the other. We want it to be complete opposite, 180 degrees. All right, here we go. We got the line at the arrow, we're gonna go down to 30. All right, and there we go, just like that. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, now you see how I got that bow in the table? We'll go ahead and measure. I'm gonna have to hold it up just a little bit. I'm sorry about the little bow in the table, but we are right at about four and a sixteenth. I think I can make that work. All right, we're gonna slide it right on up. Now, as you can see, I have no gap under there and it's tight on there. So there we go, that's a perfect offset. Just like that. All right, so there you have it. Pretty cut and dry, really easy to do. Like I said before in the other video, if you're interested in watching that box offset video, I will link it right up here in the card so you can click on it 
and you can watch it. It's really easy to do. Like I say, guys, if there is something that you guys want to see specifically, whether it be more box offsets, whether it be offsets, whether it be three-point saddles, four-point saddles. Now, I plan on doing all those in this series, but I'm letting you know right now that if there's something specific that you guys want to see, like, you know, how to do, you know, anything with conduit, I feel very confident in my work to show you guys exactly what you need to do. I mean, there's nothing in a conduit bin that I don't know how to do. And like I said, I'm not trying to sound like I'm the best there ever was, but I feel very confident with conduit that when you see my work, you know it's mine because I do. I take very good pride in it. All right, guys, if there's anything else you want to see, make sure you hit that bell button so you can get every notification on all the videos and any other videos that you want to see on my channel because I got plenty of them. Make sure you hit that subscribe because very soon I will be installing an under the sink hot water heater because I'm tired of having the water on and it just keeps coming out cold for seem like forever and then boom all of a sudden it gets hot. Well I'm gonna fix that problem. Eliminate me wasting two or three gallons every single time. Guys if you like what you see, like and subscribe, God bless, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great day guys.